We continue reading from John chapter 16 verses 12 to 15 today and the theme of the advocate or the Holy Spirit continues. In these verses, Jesus tells his disciples that because their hearts and their minds are not yet ready for everything that he has to say, he has not told them everything. He has revealed to them the essentials. He has revealed to them what is important. He has revealed to them what is primary and what is essential and important and primary is that their God and his God is a God who is love. And the other things which remain unsaid, the other things which Jesus has not revealed to them will be revealed when the spirit of truth comes. And the reason why it will be revealed when the spirit of truth comes is because when Jesus goes back to the Father, the disciples will realize that now they have to be able to think for themselves. Now they have to be able to act for themselves. And in this independent thinking and action, the spirit will immerse itself and then reveal to the disciples what other truths remain. And the other truths which remain are these, that while the disciples were inspired by Jesus, now that he is not present with them, they must imitate him. They must become an altered Christus. They must become another Christ. This is the truth which the Spirit reveals because Jesus is very clear that the Spirit will not reveal a different truth. The Spirit will not reveal something which the disciples have never heard of before. No, the Spirit will only make clear what the disciples already know. The Spirit will explicate the manner of life that the disciples must live. The Spirit will show the disciples in action how they must be. Jesus came into this world 2000 years ago. He inaugurated the kingdom. He proclaimed the kingdom and he showed through his life, through his mission, through his being, what this kingdom is. Today, the Spirit is among us and the Spirit has revealed those truths which Jesus could not reveal to the disciples because they were not ready. And the truth which the Spirit reveals is this, that we who profess to be disciples of Jesus must continue the work of the kingdom that Jesus began. When we work for justice, when we work for peace, when we are merciful and forgiving to others, when we are able to perceive the needs of others even before they can ask for help and reach out in help like Jesus did, then we are furthering God's kingdom. How will you, as a disciple of Jesus, further God's kingdom through one action today? 